Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. Yes, let's get on to the point. We have this story, this article written by a staff journalist at Media Takeout News. You know, they give us news here and there, and sometimes it's kind of shaky. But right now, it's been on point for the last couple of weeks. But we're going to come in and talk about Real Housewives Kenya Moore stating to the press, okay? She ain't date no more black men. <laughs> She says she ain't dating no more black men. She only dating white. Okay, she's only taking subscriptions, uh, applications, uh, references for white men only. I like you. Just can't make this shit up. You just can't make it up. Now my question mark is, Kenya, Kenya, Kenya. I know Mark dialed you out. Other men have dialed you out. Just speaking from your perspective and looking at your own opinions. Okay? I know you done said it. ain't you. It's them. All right. But we the people can find evidence and holes in your stories. All right? But we're going to let it go on. We're going to let it go on. All right? So we basically looking at it from the standpoint that you're saying you're going to only date white men. Okay. That's a full-blown loaded statement because it's not about white, black, Asian, Indian, African, Eskimo. Did I say Native American or did I say Indian? I can't remember. Okay. It doesn't matter what culture, what race. You still have men and women that have dogmatic type of personalities. They cannot stay faithful. They are liars. They are cheaters. Okay? That is in all races. From the female race, from the, what well, gender I meant, female gender and the male gender. All races. It doesn't matter what race you're in. A dog is a dog. A bitch is a bitch. Okay? You can't separate the two. And by you making a blanket statement, and you're stereotyping one and two sets of races where the black race don't have them but no good dogged out men. And only the white race have them good finances, good credit type of men. So that love your dirty draws and everything in between. You're missing the point. Let me educate you uh, just a little bit because I don't want to tear it too long. I don't know where you got your false interpretation that only white men produce good stock. Only white men have good credit. Only white men, men can satisfy you in the bed. Only white men will love you and present you as the queen and never hurt you, never lie to you, never cheat on you. I don't know who gave you all of that information. Can you twirling more? Okay. But it's false fictitious and ludicrous information that you have stored up in your head, okay? I'm not going to even go any further with my opinion on these actions if they are truly your words, okay? All of this is allegedly, but I'm just letting you know how I feel about your blanket, racist, stereotypical statement. If you made it now, only if you made it. I'm only going on what I was presented in social media. And I told y'all when I come out and I see foolishness on the street, I'm going to be out there swinging night and day, day and night. Okay, I'm protesting. All right. Because I don't like it. I don't even like it if it comes out of my race and it goes and attacks another race. I don't like it. Those are just people that are empty-headed, empty-minded, not well-rounded, not well-versed in culture, all right? You're going to have it, can you? That's just the point. That's just the drop of the hat. That's just life. People, not all, but generalizing is wrong, okay? Saying a blanket statement like that is wrong. You have liars. You have cheaters. You have no good people in all races and cultures. So baby girl, at the age of 40 something, creeping on into 50, you should have learned that. Somebody should have told you that. All right. Or is this a PR stunt? I don't know if it is or it is not, but it was stated. So I am coming, letting you know, file on play, file on play.
Now, I've had enough of this conversation with her. I had enough of giving my opinion. Why don't we go and read the article that Media Takeout presented to us on social media? Okay, it goes on to say, um, Tiffany Brockworth, she is the excellent, salacious journalist over there that dropped this article on us. Yes, came across my media feed. And you know, I had to be like, what? Who? What? When? Where? How? How did she do that? Okay, I'm going to speak on it. All right. Her title was given, uh, ATL Housewife Kenya Moore. I'm done with black men. Only white for me. Only white is right. Only white can get it. Get it. Get it tonight. What the heck is Kenya talking about? Okay. But anyway, let's get on into this article. It says Kenya Moore from the Atlanta Housewives is in the midst of a bitter divorce with her husband of two years, Mark Daly. The couple welcomed their daughter, Brooklyn, into the world just 10 months ago. And less than a year later, the marriage is over. Yes, it's over. Okay. Just. Okay. I ain't gonna go no further. Okay. Well, that's not the only thing that's over for Kenya. Media Takeout News just learned that Kenya is telling her friends that's going forward, that going forward, she's done with black men. She's done. She's done. Put a fork in it. Put a fork in it. She's done. She's done. Put the white flag up. Put the white flag up. She ain't date nothing but Lily White, European White. I'm like, good God. Good God. I'm like, good God. I'm like, she done just dropped. Done flag, done slap the black man down. Okay. And y'all wonder why black men run to white women. Whew, we got to do better as a race. We got to do better as a human race. We got to do better as a people. Why can't love just be expressed in all types, forms, shapes, and fashions? Why do we have to say, I'm not going to date this race because they dialed me out? Okay, I'm getting, to, I'm getting in my feelings. Let me go back to the article. Okay, it says, uh, Kenya, who is a millionaire, a businesswoman, and a gorgeous former Miss USA, has trouble finding an African-American man to settle down with all her life. And now the Bravo reality star is prepared to try something new. I'm like, can you stay off them dating shows? Stop pimping men for everything and anything, thinking they're going to put you as queen on the throne and they're going to hold you on the mantelpiece as a trophy wife. Stop it, girl. Just like the author just read, you are a millionaire. You are a businesswoman. You are gorgeous. Okay. You are the triple threat. All right. You don't need to be hosed down and censoring yourself to only be seen, photographed, entertained by a white man. Kenya Moore, where's my team twirl? Y'all need to be swarming in and be in offense to what Kenya Moore has just said. All right. All right. Okay. Going back to the article. It says, Kenya, Kenya's pal told media cheek out news. See, I don't know who dropping this tea. Is Kenya panties friends of hers to drop tea on her hair? Call out, Kenya, come from the bushes, come from the attic, come from the rooftops and just express it don't, and, and leak it yourself. Okay, just go get on somebody's platform and say, yeah, this is what I feel. I'm taking application, this, that, and third. Don't be telling your friends to do your dirty work, honey. Just come on out, stand in your shit and twirl. Twirl, 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 okay? Twirl, 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 twirl. Because right now we're looking at you. You're spinning like a top. And we ain't trying to even let you stop. We just going to keep spinning you, spinning you until you puke, okay? Because you done made an ass out yourself once again. All right. <sighs> going back to the article, it says Kenya's pal told me to take out news. Kenya has exclusively date men. No, I'm, I'm sorry. Let me go back. Kenya has exclusively date black men and she's met quite a few losers. Kenya told me that she's going to try and date white guys now. Hell, they can't be any worse than the black man she's been with. I'm like, Kenya, can hell. My opinion only. I'm only expressing what I feel. You're, you're about to pay those men, okay? They were your actors. They was actors that you hired to play a role, all right? Play a role, be your uh, 
boyfriend maybe it could lead to marriage on film but not in you know in real life and you succeeded you got mark daly and look where they got you girl girl stop doing all this mail for higher shit okay and be real with yourself and your situation and just maybe the Lord will send you somebody, okay? But you in all this fictitious world that you live in, in your mind, you try to bring it out in reality for us to partake. It's making us all sick. We want to regurgitate, girl. Why you just, we, you just had us in the palm of your hand where we were feeling some kind of way for you for the better. And then you come out and do this stuff on front street but you letting other people drop your tea or what you want to be kept in the news about see again that attention hard thing is coming back prevalent it's coming back to the forefront again kenya but okay i stressed too long let me go back to the article it says more and daily who share 10 month old daughter brooklyn announced their split after two years of marriage last week in exclusive statements to people both asked for privacy Okay, and then it goes on to give us that same old drawn out speech that she made, gave her a little lame excuse of ending the marriage, which, you know, if you in with a marriage or you into a marriage and, and you felt that the Lord brought you to this person, you should be going tooth and nail fighting for that marriage. Unless it was some domestic abuse going on in there, verbally, physical or both. It didn't matter. Get the hell out. Okay. Uh, but if it wasn't and it was just uh, a little tit for tat here about one person wanting to be seen in social media, the other one didn't and all that, that's it can be worked out. That's worth saving. But it seems to me it goes back to where I always stated it was a fictitious marriage. Mark wanted out. He wanted his life back. And he said, we're going to do this or I'm going to try something else in social media that you're going to be forced to say, "Uh, uh-uh, we can't be married no more. And that's pretty much how it went down in my eyes, in my mind, in my uh, space of a head up there. Okay. Uh, and that's pretty much it. But that that's enough right there. Don't y'all mean that was enough? Hell, that was enough for me. Oh, it, it just stirred me up again. I said, see, I was on case. I was trying to not say so much about her that was negative. I was trying to say all these wonderful things. Then she come back and throw a wrench in my, in my, in my situation of thinking about her. You know, went from positive to negative to negative to positive to back to negative zero. So y'all want team twirls to come in and explain this situation to me. Do she have a right to say, oh, black men adopt me all my life with a select few that I've had to uh, have a chance to partake of and, and, and let them entertain me and I entertain them. They ain't worth shit. Okay, that's basically what I'm getting from her and that blanket statement she made. So she think going over to the white side is going to do anything for her ego and her presence of having a good, well man who thinks the world of her. Do she really think that's going to happen too? Okay, all right. Team Twirl, I need y'all to come in. I have answers. I have, not answers, Lord, I have questions that I need to have answers to. And since y'all know Kenya, y'all supporters of Kenya, Y'all come on in here because I got I, I got like Twitter fingers wanting to go on to say, OK, what do y'all feel the same way about Teen Twirl? Teen Twirl supporters. Do y'all really believe that y'all are black women and black men? And she's saying, fuck y'all pretty much. That's what she really saying. F y'all. All right. But <coughs> that's just how I get down. That's just my opinion. I'm kind of uh, upset about this situation, as you can tell. But it is what it is. I have my opinion. You have your opinion. Now it's time for me to hear from you. Get in them comments. Light it up, okay? Light me up if you need to, too. But anyway, I'm asking for your thoughts on what Kenya said. That she said, forget the black man. I'm with the white man. The white man is always right, okay? And that's where I'm going to be at tonight. <laughs> okay. Um. That's all I have for this video. Get in them comments. You know I'm going to have a poll on this. So definitely, Teen Twirl, come on over there. Express your opinion because the people want to know. And once the poll results are in, that's just what it is. And I give it to y'all. Each ending of the, that particular week, we have a poll results. And I'll tell you how y'all fare. But y'all have a good night. Have a good uh, day at work tomorrow. Blessings be bestowed upon everybody that come over to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe 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 okay 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 again subscribe 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 like and share my videos but subscribe to me bye bye